，生文，生文，生文。耶！哇哦 ！I'm a I'm a Smith. We're not public speakers. Dave, can you come up here and finish this for me? We're Smith over here. Where's Tim Taylor? He's a he's one of those Jack Toastmasters guys. Can you can you come up here and do this? What a what a great day for me. The election season. I had to do a. I'm gonna read off a teleprompter here, so I don't know it goes wrong. If I pull a Joe Biden, don't blame it on me. We're having a technical difficulty here. No, I got it. Who's that yelling? Hello, Bill. You can do it. It is the election season, so it would be more appropriate if I read off a teleprompter. Yeah. <laughs> so here it goes. I was raised as a middle class kid in Columbus. Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie was raised as a middle class kid in New York. <laughs> Chase, a middle class kid in New York. All right, enough of the Maris Walls talking points. Let's get a little more Trump. Look at how beautiful stuff is. Right. Never before have we seen anybody as beautiful as her. I've never seen anything quite like it. It's a mystery that I'm even her biological dad. If she didn't have the Smith McNarty chin, I would definitely suspect that the a hot male man 28 years old. <laughs> Steph, you are an amazing person. A very amazing person. You're our little mismanager. We all know Steph, so you already know how awesome she is. She's really something special. And I say this completely unbiased because I'm her dad. She's smart, she's kind, she's ambitious, she's beautiful, she's thoughtful. She knows what's right and good. Out of all the billions and billions of women out there, there's no bigger winner. She's great, she's got it all. And then there's Chase. As the saying goes, opposites attract. <laughs> all kidding aside, Chase is a great guy, believe me. I first met Chase when he was helping with one of Stephanie's college moves. I immediately felt comfortable with him. Maybe that's because you're weird, like me. <laughs> he's more than weird, but he's a medalist. One morning we were hanging out in our house, and he told me he was a medalist. And I said, okay, prove it. And he said, okay, think of, a fic think of any fictional character. And I'm like, okay. I thought of Scooby-Doo. There's no way in hell he's going to pick that. Yeah. And sure enough, he picked Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> True story. Let's show why in a second. <laughs> in addition to being a gifted psychic, Chase has a gift of patience and a very calm demeanor. Matt and I have tested him many times over the years by jumping all over his case about his strange loyalty to the tide over the years. Considering UF is a solid modern and he met his wife at UF. He's yet to fail a single test. He never loses his cool and remains surprisingly calm even when getting ripped and sustained by Matt. Aww. Chase, we are very happy to have you as a second son. As an added bonus, I feel very protected with you and Matt since you're both like 6'4", 230. Although you're probably like, what, 280 now? That's even better. So I'm going to be a jackass on top of the We love you a lot. You're a great addition to our family. You're a real winner. As a parent, this is what you pray for for your kids. They find their ideal mate, and then they have found with each other. Couldn't be happier for the two of you, and have no doubt that your marriage will be a huge success. Like Matt and Kathleen and our parents, their relationship is unique and admirable. They completely respect and love each other, but the other above themselves. Most importantly, they have a strong faith, which is essential. When, not if, the storms of life come along. We are so proud of you both, and love you so much. I just wanted to finish by saying that you, Stephen Chase, made a commitment to each other today. 
There will be much joy in your lives over the coming years. And there will also be some rough times to you. When the storms come, I pray that you draw on the power of our Lord and never forget the commitment you made to each other and the choice you made to love one another all the days of your lives. Finally, I want to get a little, a little audience on participation. Do you want to come up here and finish this speech? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sue, are you good for that? <laughs> As written in Matthew 18, verses 19 and 20, Jesus said, Again, I say to you, that if two of you agree on earth concerning anything they can ask, it will be done for them. My Father in heaven, for where two or three are gathered together in my name, I am there in this them. Now I would like all of us to take just 15 seconds of praying in silence, asking God to bless Stephen Chase with a long, happy, faithful life. Jesus is in the midst of us praying, in the midst of just two or three of us praying. Imagine the power that will come from 120 of us, all praying at the same time for the same thing. Let us pray in silence for 15 seconds. Favorite quote is tonight's tonight, so let's get the party going. Here. All right.